Hello everyone, in this video I wanted to talk about the recent hubbub that happened with Candace Owens. Candace was misrepresented by a Democratic representative, Ted Lieu. He went on to have all kinds of clips, or I mean not all kinds of clips, okay, so it was one clip that he had and he used it against her out of context, completely out of context. It made absolutely no sense even using it. And then he basically just tries to shut her up during the meeting and it, it just not good. Let's get into this. Let's get all the details out. Mr. Liu played a 30 second out of context clip and it was about Candace Owen. She's talking about Hitler. Although in the clip, I think myself, she did name, okay, she's basically saying stuff in a way that wasn't a good wording. She wasn't explaining it very well. And that's why I think it was taken out of context. Kind of like, you know, word vomit. It's horrible to say, but yeah, people do that. They accidentally say things. And I think she didn't mean it totally in the way that she said it. It just kind of slipped in, sounded a different way. Now, he tries using this clip against her and it just doesn't work because it is out of context, the way that he's using it, and doesn't match what he's actually saying. In the video, it seems as that Candace Owens endorses Hitler, and that is not true at all. She definitely does not endorse Hitler. Although Mr. Liu is playing the clip declaring that he you know he doesn't know her or anything, but at the same time he wants to declare that she is a part of some sort of horrible movement that's not cool, or she has rational thoughts that she does not have that are just a extreme top of the line. That doesn't make any sense if somebody would do something like that. You know, what they're trying to do right now, they're trying to stop the debate, shut the conversation down, and try to take power of everything, try to control every single little thing and get their way. It's horrible. Candace had a fiery response, which I don't agree with 100%, but I did find this rather entertaining and interesting. Other than pulling the race car, she did make a good point, saying that the original video wasn't even shown. It wasn't considered to be shown because they just had to show that one little clip that made her look bad. That's the problem. If you have a whole video, let's say you have like an hour long, two hour long video, or even 10 minutes, how do you know that one little part of something isn't going to be taken out of context? So, I mean, you have to show the whole entire video to see what she was actually talking about. I can see this happening with a lot of other people in the future if we let this get away of Candace Owens. For example, when you had Alex Jones being kicked off of all of these platforms instantly, it's like a domino effect. One by one, almost every single day, somebody new is being banned or kicked off. I mean, it's not every single day, but seriously, you're always hearing about someone new being kicked off uh, this week. Let's talk about this week. What happened this week? Okay, we have Faith Goldie. She was banned from Instagram and she was banned from Facebook. Literally for no reason. I think she was also banned from Airbnb the same week. If not, it was like last week. But that's three different companies all in one week. Isn't that kind of weird? Nobody thinks that's suspicious at all. Really? So that is definitely weird. Then you also had Hunter Avalon. You had him basically having his whole entire account deleted for no reason. And then everybody started complaining. You had slightly offensive. You had, you know, everybody else in this whole entire movement that's fighting for freedom of speech right now and, you know, our freedom online and to be able to debate and talk and do all that stuff. Everybody was complaining. Then he had his account restored. What is going on? And the reason that they said his account was going to go away in the first place because of hate speech? What? That's not even real. Our Supreme Court ruled in our country in the United States, it's not real. That's what they said. They said that this is not a real issue. We should never have this be a real issue. Therefore, what are they doing? They're going above and beyond of our constitution and doing whatever they want, I guess, and there's no rules, they're just playing their own game, I guess. That's not cool, you can't do that. People, we have to draw the line at some point. We have to say, you know, we're not gonna let all these companies from Silicon Valley control what we say. 
if your debate, if your speech, if everything that you say goes away, you're just going to be working, you're going to be listening to other people, they're going to be telling you what to do. We all need to have a job and obviously not everybody is going to be independent. I've worked, you know, my whole entire way through and I've had a lot of different bosses. That's normal. I just choose to try to do something a little bit different, but yeah. It, you shouldn't be destroyed for doing anything in this country. What What is the United States? It's that you can do anything. You can be a baseball player. You can be like a actor. You can, you know, work a regular job, an astronaut, right? You are supposed to be anything that you want to be in the United States. It's not really written down in our constitution. It's not written down anywhere. But if you think about it, that's basically the whole entire motive of our country is to dream, you know, do what you want, you can do anything, you can be poor, the very, very bottom, and all of a sudden you were like the richest person. That is a good thing. What happened with Candace Owens on Tuesday was a total witch hunt. That's what it was. You have her claiming that they're twisting the narrative. Yes, they are, because they're taking a clip out of context. You're not going to use clips of people on the internet in the future in court to try to take, th take things out of context, okay? And use that against them. Have them be sentenced to jail or have any fines for doing that in the future. That's what we're scared of. And if they're going to try to already do that at a hearing... What could they try to do in the future with their laws? You can't have somebody pull out a phone, play 30 seconds of a, you know, 10 minute clip and try to use that against you, especially if it's taken out of context. That doesn't make any sense. I mean, if you have proof right there, someone doing something, yes, of course, that that's not the same thing at all. But when you have people just playing clips off of the internet, they could, you know, try to take things out of context and use that against you in a hearing in public, come on. All Candace Owens wanted to do, all she really wanted to do was go in there, talk about nationalism and globalism, talk about the differences so that people would understand that. And it really was about white nationalism as well. And, you know, all the different myths that are made, I'm not going to go into this, but, you know, that's basically what she's saying. This has gained national attention. I'm sure Candace Owens, all she wants is for this to stop after the New Zealand incident and then having this as like a horrible cherry on top. It's not good to have. I don't think she wants to be involved with this anymore, involved with being drugged down for no reason. When you have everybody going against you at once for really nothing over lies and myths. It's not good. It isn't. It's not a good feeling to have. I know I have it personally a little bit, but I'm not even that involved with this. I just get a little bit worked up from, you know, stuff happening to me from different social media companies where I think that it, I question the behavior that happens to my accounts of different views being deleted and other stuff happening to me that is very suspicious. If it's even legal, it's very weird to think about that it could possibly happen to even me when I'm talking about, you know, everything else everybody else is talking about, but they don't want me to have certain opinions. Now, that's because I have the wrong opinions. But the mainstream media won't hold back until their narrative is fully accomplished. They want to have that outreach by everybody and have people be controlled by what they say. What they say is right or wrong or actually going on. Look at the Covington incident. I don't want to go back to that for like the millionth time. But hey, they did lie about that. That was proof from what they were saying. It's a whole entire lie. Look, look what they're doing to Candace Owens and how that's not different than what a witch hunt was back in the past. Are we going to lie to ourselves? Put that together. You have technology. People playing clips out of context. And they're playing these clips out of context. And all of a sudden, you know, they're trying to get people in trouble for that. That's not cool. Then you had stuff in the past with the, you know, witch trials where people are saying people are witches. And there's no proof to that. There's no proof to something. It is a witch hunt. We are expected to believe whatever they put out is true and that that is factual without any evidence at all when they're playing 30 second clips 
all of a sudden everybody has to believe the news. I think more the the mainstream media is out to get people can be used as a tool to destroy lives. I know that sounds a little bit crazy, a little bit off the rails, but no, I really do. I really think that it's not becoming a good thing. It's becoming something that is destroying people in our society. Well, that's all I have for this video, but I'm going to have another video coming very shortly. Go check out some other videos. There's a lot going on there, so I'll check you next time.